just really proud of the discipline defensively tonight. Um, thought we uh, defended really, really well. Um, everybody that came in, just uh, there was no letdown. So I loved our bench energy. But just on the defensive end, just a, a great disciplined effort from us tonight. And to be able to finish with the box out, um, they're a great rebounding team, traditionally known for that. And to be plus 11 on the boards shows toughness. So it's a, it's a great win for us tonight. And I love the way we did it. Um, I thought these two really, from a leadership standpoint, along with Loyal, set the tone. And you know, for SA to have a career night, against someone of this caliber, I think it really is a career night. So I'm really proud of our team. Um, so this is uh, for uh, Sarah Ashley. So you had a career, uh, a season high today uh, of 25. What was clicking for you offensively? I think it's just trusting within myself and having trust uh, within my coaching staff and and my teammates. Um, you know, the threes that I had that were open, it's just them hitting me with, with open shots and just me trying to hit down an open shot. But it's not about me. Um, I would not be the player that I am today without the Lord. Um, I would not be the player that I am today without Coach Christie having confidence in me and, and really just talking to me about being a better leader this year and just thinking about other people and not myself. And so honestly, I think it's so easy when you worry about other people that the game just starts to click. And that's what I've just tried to do is how can I help other people be better? And then it's just kind of clicking for me as well. So I think that I'm just trying to put my head down and just try and play as confident as I can because I've got coaches that believe in me. Um, Aaliyah, you have cleared 800 career points tonight. You've um, really emerged as this team's main three-point shooting threat. Um, <laughs> What's it been like this year and well, last year too, but this year especially really as the um, driving force for this team behind the arc? I think this team, we're just so connected and we all love each other. And like S.A. said, we all just want each other to do good. Like S.A. is always looking to get me a shot. I'm always trying to look to get S.A. a shot. Like we all like want each other to do good. And this team is so connected. And I think this is the most connected team I've team I've been on I think we just love each other we love the coaches like our coaches are great um, and I think that's what's been the driving force this season and I just hope it continues and it is um, so coming off of such a close loss against USF last year how important was it for you guys to take what you've learned from your past two games and really bring it into this game and really make it somewhat of a shutout? Well, I think we, me and S.A., Loyal, um, Carr, we had experience last year playing them, and we just wanted to come out and be tougher than them because that's what they did to us last year. They kind of punched us, and we kind of laid back down. And I think this year we were tougher, and we came out there, we communicated, we talked, and it was just experience, honestly, I think. Uh, we knew what they did to us last year, so we just came out and wanted to um, prove a point. You guys held a very good offensive um, Bulls team to five of 30 shooting in the first half. You know, I just want to ask the two of you, you know, what caused such just a dominant defensive performance right out of the gates today? Our main focus this year is to be able to defend. Um, and that's something that we're very passionate about. We know that if we defend, that our offense is going to get going. And when you defend, it makes it harder for other people to make shots. And so really going into this game, we're like, if we can defend their actions and we can box out and rebound, we're going to win this game. And that was our main focus. That's the focus that the coaches put into us. Um, but I mean, I think that after the game, we were talking about it in the locker room, like, I mean, everyone was talking on the floor. It's about communication. And that's what we're trying to do every single play down the floor defensively. And like Aaliyah said, our team is so close knit that it's just it's it's just like pretty easy for us to do. It's easy for us to talk to each other. And yeah, we're still learning. We're gonna be better defensively and we've got ways to grow, but at the same time, like our focus is to, is to be able to defend the basketball this year. Uh Sarah, this one's for you as well. You know, you and Loyal obviously um have handled the ball a lot this year. You guys have the uh, fourth highest turnover percentage in the nation so far. Um, really, especially for you, you know, as a leader on this team, what do you tell your players, you know, about as far as, you know, hanging on to the ball goes and then also on the other end, you know? 
getting stops and getting the ball back. Can you say that question again? Does fourth highest mean like we turn the ball? Sure. Yeah. What, what? Can you restate your question? Uh, I'm sorry. Turnover percentage where you guys have excelled, you know. How like much? you're saying that we have turned the ball over no, the highest. No, we we're do a good job. It. We're doing oh, a good we're job. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Doing a good job of not turning the ball. Got you. Over. Yeah. Um, I think. <laughs> sorry, I think that's just you know us just trying to take care of the ball. That's what you're talking about, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Us just trying to take care of the ball, and we know that um, taking car taking care of the ball is what wins wins basketball games. Um, and so I think Loyal's done a phenomenal job, and she's done a phenomenal job with her assist turnover ratio. Um, I look at it every single game for her, and it's just. I mean, it's just taking care of the ball as, as well as we can. So you're and you're gonna have turnovers. Like that's just the that's just the game of life. You're you're gonna have turnovers, but what can you do? Can you turn the ball over and put your head down, and then you're gonna have more turnovers, or can you turn it over and try to get it back and not turn it over again? And so that's where we're going. We're not putting our head down, and that's that's our motto. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Roll Thank tight. you. Roll tight. So <clears throat> you guys uh, held them to 0 for 7 uh, on field goals until the 6:20 mark in the first quarter. And then uh, in the entire first quarter, you guys held them to only two field goals made. And like he said, you held them to 5 of 30 shooting at the half. How many games do you think that this team can win with that kind of defense? Well, I think that's, you know, it sets the tone. Um, it's just, it's been a really point with this team that, you know, obviously we lost a lot of points. And how you make that up is, is us as a staff trying to improve defensively. And, and our expectations are that, you know, we've got to be a better defensive team moving forward. Um, you know, and, and I feel like our kids bring in great effort and energy. They're doing the things that we're asking them to do that are also scout specific. But if you look at the kids that played tonight, there were only five that were in Tampa a year ago. I can't tell you how proud I am of, you know, the leadership of those five brought back with a lot of new faces and, and just how hard we're playing on the defensive. And you can't control if your shot's going in. I'll, lose, I'll use Jess Timmons as an example. Very few nights is she going to go one for ten. But to see her have eight rebounds, and every single time I look up, she's on the floor with hustle plays. You can always control how hard you defend. And I love who this team's trying to be from a hustle standpoint. They're playing hard. But they're adding a little bit of IQ in there, too, with some smart. I love how we're playing from you know, just a mental standpoint defensively in the scout tendencies. Coach, military appreciation night today. I see you wearing the camera. We yeah. saw all those tributes. What's it mean to God and win on this night? Well, it's awesome. You know, there's so many servicemen and women across our country and across the world that are serving a much bigger purpose. We just get a simple game of basketball. And, you know, I think about Shakira Wade tonight, who's in Germany, that's a former player from a couple years ago that served in our country. And just so thankful for all the sacrifices that them and their families make on a daily basis. Just very, very thankful. Um, you talked a little bit with me in the preseason about how USF had taught you all a hard lesson. Um, how do you think that hard lesson forged your win here tonight? Yeah, you know, um, we have, again, you know, I think five folks that were in the locker room a year ago, and they had to go through it. Um, and then I think that, you know, we're just – we're a team right now that just needs experience in game environment. So to be able to have a positive experience and build on it and keep learning and growing, you know, I don't think that, you know, the best kind of motivation, self-motivation, just to be better today than we were yesterday, that stung a year ago, but I don't think that's, you know, that's all what it's about. I think this team just wants to be the best version of themselves today and continue to get better with each day. And I'm so proud of who they're trying to be right now. We just got to keep building on it because it's, it's about to get really difficult on Sunday. We'll enjoy this till midnight and hit reset. Thank y'all for coming out.